track, start. <laughs> first run of today, it's about 5.30 a.m. Amir is trying perfect pass for the first time. So, pretty excited. All right, let's see what you got. save how did it feel it's unbelievable okay so this will be the second time amir is trying the uh, perfect pass uh last run was turner graphing panther 50s obviously 4s in each side now it's smc srds and we adjusted perfect pass to the right just a little bit because amir said that it was a little bit too quick for him a little bit longer delay and uh let's see what happens Wow, 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 wow. Pretty linear. Wow. I think so. Good run. 252. Yes. Not bad. Seven, 257, good job. All right, Shahar is gonna try perfect pass for the first time with the Mugen. Let's see that the arrow is right. Go ahead. Wait, stop, read. Sure. Good job, 257. This is a face of someone that just used perfect pass for the first time and gained seven kilometers an hour. Awesome, good job, man. Which brings me back to the shop for a quick second just to show you guys a quick explanation and demonstration. Guys, if you don't calibrate perfect pass correctly, you will not like it. If you do, you're not gonna even feel that perfect pass is there. So uh, let me just quickly show you how very important throttle trim all the way to negative this is crucial throttle trim all the way to negative here it's b100 brake 100 perfect pass all the way to the left this is how you calibrate it the first time you get it all the way to the left then you recalibrate your esc full throttle don't over squeeze if you over squeeze then it's not gonna read right. It's gonna only read like 95% because when you actually run, you don't over squeeze. So lightly full throttle and switch on. Full reverse. Neutral. Confirmation. That's it, now you're good. That's how you recalibrate perfect pass. Now you turn your car off and only then you can adjust your perfect pass. Recommending about three quarter of a turn for your first run. About three quarter of a turn in your perfect pass for your first run and then adjust accordingly if you need more or less delay. Sorry, that's my gyro going crazy because you have no power and i am running a receiver pack which are awesome by the way you don't have to go let me just turn off my remote you don't have to go full throttle and let perfect pass do its thing you can normally squeeze as if you were normally when you're speed running that's fine perfect pass is just going to intervene if you're wrong if you're squeezing nicely and you're just a little bit wrong, perfect pass is not gonna allow it, but you don't have to stand in your place and floor it, you don't have to. You can drive it normally. Perfect pass is not intervening with the 15%, first 15% of your run. So you can drive to your run normally. If you calibrate perfect pass properly to your car, you're not gonna know it's there. You're just going to run normally, squeeze normally, and only if you're wrong, it's going to intervene. 
that's it. If you want to save that hassle and just have a perfect linear pass, stand in your beginning of the run, start and just go full throttle. Perfect pass will do everything for you, but you can still drive as if you were in a normal speed run. That's pretty much it. This is how you calibrate perfect pass properly. Super, super important. Guys, there are, I guess there's a thing right now when people are saying perfect pass is if you're not a man and not perfect pass is if you're a man, whatever. Guys, we sold 800 perfect pass units, 800. Only about 10, 15 of them admitting it on YouTube. Trust and believe, most drivers that go fast use perfect pass. They just found really nice ways of hiding them. A lot of people have them, they're just hidden because I guess if you're using a great technology that allows you to be the fastest, you're less of a man or something like gyro or whatnot. I mean, come on guys, you don't need that to become a man. It's an RC car. Enjoy it, love it. Let's go back to the video. All right, now this should be rather interesting because as you guys can see, we changed just a little bit here and there. Now the batteries are about 80%, so uh, just trying to see how this setup actually works. Obviously I'm still running perfect pass on this one, simply because I don't want to waste time on having six different runs before I understand what my car is doing. So let's see what happens with this one. Should be relatively interesting. It's a very strong setup. read 152 not bad that's a good start first run i'll take it all right so based on 